Welcome back to another Five Finds Friday. I cannot wait to share with you my most fabulous things that I found on the web. But the first thing I wanna do is share with you the top seller from last week. Guys, if you did not get a chance to check it out, go back and watch last week's Fab Fun Finds. Um, this was on it. Can we just have a moment? Can we just have a moment for the hair mask? This mask is amazing. It's super rich, super thick and it makes my hair feel fantabulous. I just have to say, I cannot say enough about the Ava New York City mask. Check it out if you haven't already done so. So let's get to this week, I cannot wait. First, I'm gonna start with this top, okay? This top is so cute, so fun. It's got these beautiful like magnolia flowers on it. It's a navy in color, and look at these full, fluffy, I can't say it, full fluffy sleeves with just a little, um, little, uh, I don't what do you call that? Gathered wrist. So, and then look, look up here. It's got the pleated neckline with the little collar. Makes you look like you're all professional. Um, I love the way it feels. It's super soft. I don't know what it's made of y'all, but you know, I'm gonna put the link for you guys for all the things this week, but this is my top number one favorite is this little shirt. All right, the next favorite thing is something that people do ask me a lot about is my makeup and um, not so much my hair, no, but my makeup. And uh, I just wanna share this. This is my secret. This is called Boom by Cindy Joseph. And she passed away a couple of years ago, which made me super sad, but her company lives on and she came up with this makeup. It is a single stick. They call it um, color. And this color has been completely um, tested to work on all skin types. Can you believe that? Literally all shades of skin. I don't know about you, but I don't need one more thing to have to think about it and, and choices to make. So when it comes to makeup, if there's one, where is it? If there is one choice and it works with all skin types, I'm in, I'm in. So I have been known on off days. Now this is not the only thing I use, but I have been known on off days to take this one stick called color, use it on my lips, my blush, my eyeshadow, and call it done, okay? So you can use this all over your face as a one-stop shop. I love that this works with all ages of skin as well. So if you're in the market for some makeup and you wanna try something new, I love this Boom um, stick. This one's called Color. It's the only color they carry, but they have another one called Shimmer which sometimes I'll put on the bottom of my lip, but it's just like a highlighter. Um, and then they have a moisturizing stick. And that's it for the makeup, guys. Um, so love, love, love the boom stick. So let's get to one of my most favorite afternoon snacks slash treats. I don't know. Are you team Starbucks or not? Okay, a lot of people aren't, but let me just share this with you. I found a way, shh, to make it at home for myself whenever I want. I don't have to worry about the lines. I don't have to worry about if um, they're open. So here's the secret. First of all, you wanna start with a mason jar. Any mason jar will work. This is my mason jar full of ice, and these little lids are one of my favorite finds. All right, they come in multiple colors. This one came in a package. They come in small and large. So I love this. They stack in multiple colors, guys. I'm gonna link them below so you can see all the colors and all the choices, but you want something that you can screw onto the top. Now, these came with lids, of course, the mason jars, but I don't know where they are. I don't, I don't know where all my lids are. So I just deal with it like this. So first thing you're gonna do is take this. This is another one of my fabulous Friday fun finds. It is vanilla sugar-free Starbucks syrup, okay? Sugar-free syrup from Starbucks. Love, love, love this. Um, I only take like one pump and not a lot, guys. A, li a little bit goes a long ways. And then I'm gonna take my fifth favorite fab find for the day is the cold brew, the Starbucks 
Starbucks, Starbucks cold brew. Amazing. Guys, I shake it up a little, open it up. Smells to die for. And I put it in. And I don't even use the whole thing, guys. I use about that much. This much of the cold brew. And then I have another whole serving for another day. So that goes a really long way. Then I'm just going to take half and half. You can take creamer. You can take whatever you want. And I'm going to add it to it. You know, just a little bit, just to make it colored. A little bit, a little bit mixed. And then we're going to grab the lid. Do that. Do a little shake. I shake it as good as possible because, listen, guys, the best part, the secret to making this taste amazing is all the ice chips, all the little ice chips that come out when you shake it. And guys, let me just tell you, mm, sorry I slurped. I just didn't want to get it all over me. It's amazing. It's an amazing treat in the afternoon. Mine might have gotten a little too much cream in it, so that's easy to fix. Just grab a little bit more of my Starbucks cold brew and add to it. And now it is iced coffee. Iced coffee, iced coffee. Shake it again. That's a little better color for me. I don't know. Everybody's palette is different. Everybody likes a different strength, but this is what I like. I hope you've enjoyed the five. Listen, let's recount. This is the cute shirt. This was number one. And then number two was the Cindy Joseph Boomstick. Number three were the little cute lids that come for your mason jars. And you can use that when you make the mason jar salads, anything you want. Then you've got the sugar-free syrup from Starbucks and you've got the Starbucks cold brew. And I have a cute DIY on the blog that I'll link below too, that you can use these amber bottles for when you're finished. I hope you had so much fun. I hope you had as much fun as me and have a good week.